Hello everybody, it's Mrs Clifford. I'm going to do some maths. I'm going to look at one more than a number and one less. So that's one more and one less. Here I have five pens. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five pens. How many pens would I have if I added one more? I have five, but now I have one more. The answer is six. I now have six. Six pens. Let me take that one away and go back to having five. How many pens would I have if I have one less? If I take one away? We have four. So we started with five. One less than five is four. And when we go back to having five and we add one more, one more than five is six. So we're looking at one more and one less. Here I have written out some numbers. Okay, it says one more and one less. So the first number here, you can see is number 10. So if you imagine I have 10 pens and I take one away, what number comes before 10? You take one away. It's nine. Nine comes before 10. If you have 10 pens and you take one away, one less than 10 is nine. Let's go back to looking at number 10. And now we're going to have one more. What is one more than 10? It's 11. So you can see one less than 10 is nine. That comes before 10. And one more than 10 is 11. 11 comes after 10. Let's look at the next one. What number is this children? It's number six. So what is one less than six? What comes before six? If you need to go back to number one and count one, two, three, four, five, six, you would know it's number five. One less than six is five. But now what is one more than six? What one comes, what number comes after six? It's number seven. So one more than six is seven. I've written some more numbers. I've written number 14, number 16, and number 11. I wonder if you can work out which number comes before number 14 and after. So we can say, what is one less than 14? What is one more than 14? What is one less than 11? What's one more than 11? What is one less than 16? What's one more than 16? So it's the number that comes before and the number that comes after when you're counting. And you can use a number line to help you if you need two children. You can use objects like Mrs. Clifford. I use the pens. Okay. You can just use your fingers or your knowledge of counting. Whatever you need to do to help you work out the number that is one more than a number and one less. Okay, I hope you have fun doing these. Bye.